three, two, one. Hello and welcome. <laughs> to Did you enjoy that, boy? Eight hundred miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. It's been a number of weeks since we've uploaded to the channel. Big apologies for that, it's not what we intended whatsoever. We are in the process of making content but it's taking a very long time. Yeah, we have opposite work schedules and in a way it's been nice to take some time out during the lockdown to just chill, reset and remind ourselves what's important. Yeah, there's not been so much um, fun adventuring yeah. and exploring. Zero adventuring and exploring actually, isn't it? Yeah. So whilst we are making content which has taken a bit longer than expected, we've had a, uh, an impromptu day off work today, so we thought we'd get out and make a video very quickly because recently we were tagged by Graham and Ellie from Wizard in the Wild to answer a few questions about sort of motorhoming caravanning, camper vanning. Eight quite fun questions which reveal bits and pieces. Some you might know already, but others you might not. Yeah. It's just a bit of fun and we thought we could upload this quite quick and just touch base with you all and say hello. Yes. Uh, we are filming this on the first day that England is kind of relie relieving its lockdown measures. It's the 12th of April and shops have opened again and I am back at work full time as of tomorrow. So, let's get on with the questions. Question one. What's your favourite playlist? Well, it's funny you should ask. We actually created our own Spotify playlist with a wide range of music. And you can find that at the link down below. That's full of our favourites from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Ben Howard. Oh, it's, been, it's been a while since <laughs> we listened to it actually, but that is the same playlist that we listened to as we drove around Europe for a year, so it's perfect for road trips. Kept us two sane. Just about, a little bit repetitive, but that's us listening to it over and over again. You're really selling this. Who else is on there? <laughs> so Cal, question two, what's your favourite thing you take on holiday? It's right there. What, me? No, the camera! Otherwise you wouldn't be able to capture all of these amazing memories, would we? Question three. What's your favourite thing to cook in the van? Well, it's a good thing you're asking me that question because I did all the cooking in the van and Callum did absolutely nothing. Um, and as Graham and Ellie from Wizard in the Wild rightfully said, I am a professional chef. So um, I think with the limited things that we've got to cook on, so we've got the two ring gas burner, or we did have, we've now got the Omnia as well, which also goes on the um, two ring burner. Um, I think our go-tos for a special occasion were steak and burgers and no matter where we were in the world it always kind of made us feel a little bit more homely. So question four is how did we spend our evenings in the van? Uh, a lot of my time was taken up editing the videos that we've probably recorded that day or that week and also a lot of photos as well that needed organising, editing and stuff like that for social media but also because we took a lot for ourselves as well so um, a lot of digital um, Organisation. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I'd be cooking tea, probably washing up from the day, and also planning the next, the things that we do the next day, or um, our next itinerary, things to do, some research into the area, where to stay, where to get water, and things like that. And then once we both finished our individual tasks, we'd come together and watch a lot of Netflix. <laughs> a, a huge, a huge amount of Netflix, like especially during that first lockdown in Sardinia. Yeah. We got through a lot of series and it helped just normalise the experience a bit, I think. Yeah. And then there was the odd occasion where we'd meet up with people, so we'd have like a, a night outside with a campfire mm. or we met Leon and Meek in, uh, where were we, uh, Lisbon, and we'd go out, yeah. things like that. But that was quite rare, we, really, because it <laughs> That was quite rare. <laughs> that was quite rare, really. We didn't really have many of those experiences. It was quite solitary, just yeah. the two of us. Before we had our adventure, I thought every night we'd have a campfire and a barbecue, but 
doesn't work out that way, does it? No, it doesn't. Not when you're in a car park in Germany, you can't just <laughs> set a bonfire in the middle of it. People don't appreciate that, unfortunately, so. So question five is, what has been your worst motorhoming experience? Um, so I think motorhoming, driving the van wise, when we got stuck in the Pyrenees in the snow, that was a bit twitchy bum time. We also had another one in France on the way back, trying to escape Mont Ventoux with all the um, cyclists and road closures. Yeah, the uh, foam sat nav we used, f for some reason we used the phone instead of our good sat nav and yeah. it took us down the most ridiculous road. We nearly got stuck. <laughs> Um, there's been a few things at night where it scares you, but we've never had anyone actually be there. It's just a figment of your imagination. Yeah. The wild boars in Sardinia, they were quite scary. Yeah. Um, but then that's the driving side of things. And I think w we were going to say about how every day isn't sunshine and rainbows in the van. Mm. Some days you'll wake up and there won't be anything in particular that sets us off, but you'll just be everything will just be a bit on top of you I think and you'll be a bit like tired of it and as beautiful as traveling in a van can be definitely has its downsides yeah. some days you just don't really want to do anything yeah. so that can be like and then you kind of feel guilty so that's a bad experience because like why do I feel not so full of joy <laughs> yeah why am I not making the most of this experience or if something goes wrong and then something else goes wrong it's like right I'm done don't want to do this anymore uh, and also we did have days like that whilst we were building our van as well where you just like, I can't really be bothered yeah. anymore with this. Tools down, we're going to have to save this for another day because <laughs> something just doesn't work out and it goes wrong. But as you saw, it's all well worth it in the end, as it always is. So uh, yeah, nothing too drastic, but just, just general yeah. bad days on the road. No horror stories. Yet. And that's where you come in. <laughs> Question number six, what is the most useless thing you take on your travels? Well, we've only really been on one big trip, so we're kind of learning what we do and don't need, but a lot of you already know that we regret taking the surfboards all the way around Europe to use them maybe once. Um, the chucks, the levelers, we really didn't use. They've already been sold, don't need them. And uh, I suppose the thing that we will be taking, which we could be potentially useless or not as useful, is the awning. Useful when you need it, but just stuck on the side of the van for the times that you don't. So there we go. Question seven is simply the funniest camper van moment. One that wasn't very funny at the time, but since we, it just sticks in my head like, I, it's bad really because it's quite disgusting imagine a summer house shed large shed sort of thing that's divided up into three one's a shower one's a toilet and one's like a washing up area we go for a shower and whilst we're halfway through a chap decides to come in and um and <laughs> deposit last night's tea in a quite an aggressive manner and we are literally less than less than a metre away with gaps in the, the wall like as it joins the ceiling and the floor. So how I didn't pee my pants in the shower, I have no idea. Yeah, we had to make up conversation as if we hadn't heard or smelt what was going on next door. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it wasn't, it was funny at the time. But... It was grim, plus we paid 10 euros to stay in this little campsite-ish thing in France, but everything was closed because it was off season. So we really needed a shower and it goes down as one of the crappiest showers <laughs> we've ever had. Pardon the pun. And the last question is state a fascinating fact about yourselves. Now this pose is quite a conundrum and almost I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Basically, we actually can't think of anything that is fascinating enough. No, we just kind of sat there and sort of rewound our lives in our head. <laughs> trying to think. I've even asked my mum and my mate Katie to give us some ideas of what, what they know that's fascinating about us and they struggled. It's a very, uh, on the surface, quite a simplistic 
question, but when you delve deep to drag something up, it's tricky. Um, and we honestly can't think of anything that genuinely we could say that we're not going to be judged for. Or that we, yeah, well that's not a joke. Um, One thing I thought about, uh, my first car was a 1989 Citroen 2CV that was a dolly with the um, rag top that you could roll back, called Doris. Fascinating. What, white and red. Or just interest another interesting fact yeah it's gonna be fascinating though why uh, that we put up with each other for a year in a very small van and didn't murder each other that's f fascinating fascinating would be seen behind the scenes all the time better do more fascinating stuff really love coming up on floor of the novice explorers fascinating youtube channel <laughs> what is it So there you go. Um, we're <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. So there you have it. Um, we're a little bit rusty, so we're not sure exactly how this video is going to turn out, but it's only a little bit of fun. And once again, we want to thank Graham and Ellie from Wizard in the Wild for tagging us and uh, getting us involved. So at this point, we should be tagging three more people. But instead, we're just going to say, if you want to do it, do it tag your mates if you think that they would like to um, join in as well and um, it's basically going to remove a bit of pressure for people that we tag doing it and make people more feel more included because sometimes it's you're waiting to be tagged and you're not tagged and it's not very inclusive yeah so anyone that wants to jump aboard just uh, feel free to answer the questions and let us know if you do do it so as always thank you very much for watching and we're sorry that it's taken so long to upload again we've got a few things in the pipeline but we aren't really going to be adventuring for a little while so yeah. there might don't be, expect too much <laughs> there might be a couple adventures dotted in um but actually we're going back to sort of build videos type thing aren't we got yep. a few van upgrades we want to do and that's probably what's going to come next and the laptop at the minute it's got videos on it but mm. they're not finished, it's just a... Got a very nice compilation, one of Sardinia coming yeah. up. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to sort of review our trip that we did and mm. compile everything in a nice manner, because we've got so much footage and stuff. Um, it'd be a shame not to share it, but we don't want to be too repetitive yeah. with it. So we'll be sporadic, I think. But um, if you made it this far through the video, thank you once again. We do appreciate it. Yep, yeah, and we will see you in the next one. Just before we go, as always, all the links will be in the description down below. That'll be for the Spotify playlist, uh, the Wizard in the Wild uh, YouTube channel, all of our social media links if you want to me message us, contact us for any yeah. any reason. We do post to that maybe a little bit more often. Maybe a little bit more. But it's been very Rufus heavy and I'm sure, like us, you've had enough of him. Um, <laughs> 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 nah, he's an angel. <laughs> right then, thank you for watching, over and out. So question seven is what is your funniest memory of... What was the question? <laughs> was it question four or just say? <gasps> Whoops. Question three. What was your favourite thing to cook in the van? Well, that's a good... <laughs> <laughs> Rufus! So, Cal, question two. What's the... F mm. So, Cal, question two. What's your favourite thing you take on holiday? It's right there. What, me? No, the camera. Otherwise, you wouldn't... <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to capture all of these amazing cheesy memories. Mm, yeah, I'm afraid you'd have to do that again. Hold Why? That would be the one I'll use. Mm. One, two, three. So, Cal, question two. What's the fav... Has <laughs> <laughs> she come to say hello? So, what are we doing? <laughs>